How's it going, Redstoners? So today's video is going to be a little different, and I want to talk about analog logic gates. So without converting to binary, how do we take a 15-state system and perform log like Boolean logic on it and keep it in that system? Well, first I want to show you how you would do it by converting to binary, and then I would like to explain my logic on how I did it over there. So the way this works here is this is analog in it converts analog to binary and gets you four bits of binary one two three four and then it takes those four bits on both inputs so you have two inputs and then this is a logical or gate so you can see like here's one input to it here's another input and then here's the output of that or gate and so we have two inputs and an output to each or gate here oops my voice just cracked uh, so the output comes over to here and it comes over to this binary to hex converter. The way this works is very simple. It takes a value of 15 here and subtracts either 1, 2, 4, or 8. So right now it's subtracting all of those values, meaning 0. So right now it's taking binary 0 and converting it to 0. Um, and so it just works on subtraction like that. Um, if the 1 bit was on, it wouldn't be subtract, or if the 1 bit was on over here, it wouldn't be subtracting 1 here like this, and instead it would output 1, because 15 minus 14 would be 1. Anyway, so I'll demonstrate how this works. So let's do uh, 5 or 3. So here's 5, and here's 3. Using this texture pack, we can see that coming in here is clearly 5, and coming into here is clearly 3. Let's see what comes out of the beast, uh, analog to binary. So we have a, we have a zero, we have a one zero one zero, which is a five, and then we have a one. Well, I guess if you look at this zero zero one one, which is a three, five ord with three is seven, and then seven converted to hex looks like this, which and here's the signal strength of seven, and you get seven lamps. Okay, so that's how you do it by converting it to binary and then displaying the value. Or con converting analog to binary, and doing the logic in binary, binary or, and then converting the output back to hex. In my opinion, that's a sloppy way of doing it because you're not affecting, you're, you're not changing the analog signal you're creating a new analog signal and what I want to do is instead I want to be able to like add and subtract these analog signals together in such a way that it produces or because that's all you can really do with analog signals is you can add and subtract with the comparators um, you can't like get logic functions like you can with or so I will now show you how I did that okay so here's the unit that does the pure analog or and you can see that there's not an OR gate over here anymore, it's a different gate, it's an AND gate. And this is checking for something. This is checking for collisions. And I'll explain what that means in a second. But as you can see here, the analog data comes over and only gets modified here. So analog data is being modified, but not being turned into binary. Can that be seen? There's no binary converter at the end here. These are binary. These are analog to binary, but then it uses it checks some stuff in binary and modifies the analog signal. It doesn't convert the analog signal to binary, if that makes sense. So I'll explain the algorithm, right? So let's say we were doing OR, and we had the inputs of five and three, and we ORed and we got seven. So like, top input's five. So this is a zero, a one, a zero, a one, and then a zero zero, one one, like that. So we have a five and a three and we OR them, and we want to get a 7, like that. So the way this works is it says 0, or 1 or 1 is 1, obviously. 0 or 1 is 1, 1 or 0 is 1, 0 or 0 is 0. So basically, what I do is I want to be able to add and subtract. So what I do is I look for where do the, where are both bits equal to 1. So that's, that's what I need an AND gate for. So in this case, let's input th 5 and 3. So we have 5 here and 3 here. To verify that, we can see that 5 is up here and 3 is down here. Okay. We come out the back of here. We can see 5 and 3. And only one bit is on. The least significant bit 
The one that's telling you, hey, both the least significant bit in 5 is on and the most significant and the least significant bit in 3 is on. Because they're both odd. Alright, so it comes over here, turns this off, and what it does is it subtracts the, the, uh, the value 1 from your analog signal. So let's show you what that means. It picks, so it'll always subtract from one value, not both. So we're always going to take a policy of subtracting this input, of the second input. So it subtracts that input. So the way this works is it says, we have 5 or 3 we want to do. It looks and says these two are the same. So what we want to do is we want to turn it into this and then add these two together. So how do we add, how do we convert 3 into 2? Well, we subtract that 1 that we had in common with it. So we subtract a 1, and then we add these two values together, and now we have an OR. So this whole thing right here subtracts the value out that it has in common, and then uses an analog adder right here to produce the output of 7. So let's try another, let's try it like 9 and 5, uh, no, what, what is it, 9, yeah, nine, 9 and 7. So here's 9, and then here would be 7, that should be 15. And we have an output of 15 here. So here's the cool thing you can do with this. Because I'm just directly modifying an analog signal here, you can quote unquote call it an analog logic gate. I don't know if this is like the first in Minecraft. It uses a cheese decoder here, yeah I know. I wish there was some way to do this in a hexadecimal like in, in analog without having to convert like this but there's no way to produce and and so like you're stuck back to the logic problem so no matter what you need some way of converting to binary to do this um, to do some sort of logic but this isn't using the binary logic to produce the result this is using the binary logic to subtract out analog values from the input to then produce the result I guess um, anyway so I'll show you something cool that you can do with this so if we think back to binary if I wanted to build an AND gate, it would be invert A, invert B, or them together, invert the output. And then only when I en uh, only when I turn on both inputs will the output come on. So if I turn on one, no output, turn on the other, no output, turn on both, and output, right? Okay, so let's make a hex or uh, AND gate, right? So what I do is I invert the input, first inf input, and invert the second input. So this is nice because it, it'll take like, say this is 13 and it'll turn it into 2. Alright, because 13 plus 2 is 15. So it does the inversion like that. Um, and then the top one does the same thing. So it does, it uses my binary OR gate and then what it does is it inverts the output here and produces AND. So here we go. Let's do 5 and 3. So this is going to be 3, this will be 5, and the output should be 1, right? The only thing in common with it is 1. Okay, let's try, let's try 9 and 7, and the same thing should be true. So we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 9, check the inputs. The same thing, it should be only 1, nice. Okay, let's try 15. And Set seven. So now it should map to seven, and it did. So there is this thing working. Binary logic done in hexadecimal, if you count it like that. And once again, the way this works is I'll go over it one more time. Is right now the way it's producing a value is none of the bits are true none of the, the, the it has none in common it's saying so it doesn't have to subtract anything out so it's literally just adding together 8 and this here um, so you can see 8 comes in here gets inverted down and it produces the right value in case it gets inverted All right the inverse of 8 is 7 so it's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. I'm happy with this, but um, I mean, the challenge exists. Can you guys make something that doesn't 
do what this one does where this because going back to this this one where it takes analog input converts to binary does the logic in binary converts that to the hex and then outputs in hex where my other one like you can see right here like my other one has just it just modifies the analog line where this one produces its own new analog line this one modifies an analog line um, and uh, if you're trying to do it this way here there's better way there's smaller ways of doing it um, for instance data corruption built a unit that uses that kind of mechanism here but it's up here and it does eight sets of four bit numbers for 32 bits so this is a 32-bit hex or, but this does it by converting to binary and then reconverting to hex. So it depends on you guys' preference, like because obviously this is faster and neater looking, but uh, this does it quote unquote without having to convert to binary. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. Think in the comments and. Uh, I'm going to keep messing around with new mechanics that I haven't tried before because I'm usually not much of an analog person. But uh, anyway, see you guys next time.